This video will show you how to make the respirometers for the fermentation lab and then how to measure the size of the air bubble after you've made the respirometers. In order to do this, you're going to need the small test tubes and the large test tubes. The instructions tell you how to mix the yeast suspension for the experiment and you're also going to need some glucose solution and again the instructions tell you how to do that. Once you have your fluids mixed together, what you're going to do is you're going to add them to the measurements that I give you in the instructions into the small test tube. I've just put some blue water in here in the hopes that it helps you see what you're going to be measuring here in just a moment. Once you have that yeast plus sugar in that small test tube, you're going to take the large test tube and invert it over the small one. Now here's where unfortunately things are going to get tricky because the large test tube is so much longer than the small one. You're going to need to use a pipette and stick it in the end so that it shoves the small test tube all the way up to the end of the larger test tube. Once you have it in there, you're going to quickly invert it and then you can take the pipette out. Now at this point, you have a little air bubble that's at the top of that tube, the smaller test tube. What you're going to do is take a ruler, make sure you use the metric side and you're going to measure the size of the air bubble from the top where the fluid is all the way to the top of the small test tube inside of that. So for this particular setup, that's about five millimeters of airspace that you have in the top. Now, after you have your respirometer set up, you're going to leave these for 20 minutes to an hour in a relatively warm environment. If you have a warm garage, that might be a good place because a higher temperature actually helps the yeast ferment faster, so they'll make more gas. And then at the end of the experiment, you'll come and you'll remeasure the size of the air bubble. If the yeast fermented the sugar that was in your suspension, they'll produce carbon dioxide, and that carbon dioxide will increase the size of the gas bubble. Now, a little useful tip for you. When you have your um, yeast in here, a lot of times they'll make a frothy, bubbly mixture. You're going to measure from the bottom of that bubble mixture to the top of the test tube because the bubbles are still the carbon dioxide they produce. So if from here to here was froth, you would measure from the bottom part of the froth all the way to the top. Hope that helps you set up your fermentation lab. Good luck.